the blue judogi on the right hand side of your screen as they get started, the Ukrainian and uh, Fyodor Franjo of uh, Bosnia tried uh, a rather speculative matikomi where he only had uh, below the elbow and uh, I think everybody, all the beginners know, unless you're wrapping it up nice and tight at the top, you're, not, you're never going to be able to wind your opponent around only taking the forearm, so that collapsed and uh, it failed. A score. It was Mateo. Yeah, it was a matter a long time ago, and in fact, um, Jadro heard it as well. So he just went over. So a throw in the first minute, but uh, didn't count. I don't think anybody was um, too worried of, uh, about it. This time it's a Georgian um, referee and he decides that that wasn't a score, Vladimir Nutsabidze, I'm sure that he's refereed you before, Ilsa. <laughs> Probably. Do you recognise them when no. you come out, the referees? Never. They're just so concentrated on, um, so you're not the kind of fighter that comes out and thinks, no, I don't, oh, I don't that. think that was a score. And now this one is in, and he's uh, he's gonna now he has to call he has to call his judges over because he was he was busy correcting the score. This is okay because you've got two of them who saw the score, and one of them says it was in. It would be Wazari. That's okay. He he was he was doing the right thing, which was correcting the score, but he just um, and and now he can um, he can give his uh, he can give his judgment. Corner judge signalled Wazari, he signalled it was in, and they said no score. He was in the middle of cancelling a score, it's, nothing got, it's got nothing to do with Mate. He never called Mate, there was no Mate there, and neither of the fighters looked as though they'd stopped. signal um, a score and the, the corner judges say no score then as the contest is going on you, you, you signal the Yuko again cancel it with uh, and just cancel it um, he was he was in the process of doing the right thing but in the process of doing that was coming another, the, the, a, another attack, yeah. attack was coming inside the area neither of the fighters looked as though they were worried about whether he was waving his hands or not, and I think there was a score there. You don't have to stop, you don't have to call Mate to, 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 to cancel something, you cancel it as, the, as the, uh, the thing is going on. Anyway, it's no score, minute and a half left to go. Jadro Chetverik. I'm sure who um, of this pair has looked the, the most aggressive, but uh, it's the Bosnian, really. Yes. You know? Chetverik has just been one step behind. As far as I remember, no one's picked up a warning in a nice uh, contest. Both fighters but, yes, they try attacking. Yes, they It's not really defending. That was nice there when he um, lost the opportunity for the Kawuchi and the grip got. Uh, a little bit too difficult for him. He went to ground quite quickly, and although Chetvik looked to, yes. to pick him up, 
he had a good defense against it. Jadro looks like a reasonable um, judoka to me. Young Bosnian fighting here in the under 66 kilo category. On the other side, there's no score in that match between Enrico Parlati of Italy and Tal Flicker of Israel. 28 seconds left in that. 50 seconds here on our clock. And uh, Ilta, which way do you think this is going to go? Do you hmm. see someone scoring in the last 50 seconds? If so, who? Um, I think fights in, in the 50 seconds. It's really putting up pressure and you want to score, so... a good grip is really going for for the score. That's the second time that uh, Chetviak has tried that little drop. Um, Yoko Toshi maybe it hasn't come off. And Palati threw um, Flicker in the last 11 seconds. There were 11 seconds on the clock when um, Palati threw the Israeli for Wazari. And um, it's the Italian who takes that bronze medal. You see that in the corner of your yes. shot, the other scoreboard here. Now we've got 15 seconds left to run, and I think we're going to get golden score. Jadro dances around a little bit as he has a look at the clock, and I think he rather fancies going into the golden score. Chekviak is looking for. I think he fancies um, picking him up. Maybe with Tegaruma and or rolling him or just riding that uh, Muchimata with the hands. But you see, uh, the other one is more afraid. So the boy of Ukraine is. He wants, but he can't. Yeah. He's just... Yeah. He's trying, but he know the other one is stronger. Good grip now. Going to use it. Chetverk was the one who put his head underneath. Yeah. Can't afford a, a mistake on the ground there. That was so close. All that hard work can be undone just by one little slip in the other. No score on the board and neither fighter has picked up uh, any kind of warning because they've both been positive throughout the contest. Both looking to score. Drops an eggy attempt there from uh, Chetfiak. Looking to get in close and then uh, Chetfiak just backing off, making sure that he couldn't get his arms around him. to get involved in uh, Nivas because he, he could have just um, stayed on his front but he rolled over as, a, as much to say come on let's uh, let's mix let's it up on the ground it, yeah. yeah let's do a bit he wants to get that arm underneath and Chetvek just collapsed there some people in the crowd booing a little bit because uh, Chetvek under the pressure of that attack just collapsed to the ground into the last 30 seconds nobody wants to go to uh, a hand tie decision, but that's looking like the most likely of for a bronze medal. That's there's possibilities, yeah. Hard way to do. It'll be a medal based on which way the flags go. Yeah. A few people in the crowd don't have the badge. <laughs> Those are the ones that were shouting Yuko. <laughs> Last 10 seconds then. Franjo Jadro of um, Bosnia Herzegovina against that. Anton Chetvek of the Ukraine. And uh, we're going to need the referee and the corner judges to sort uh, this one out. The officials are from Georgia, Armenia. And Finland, not that that uh, really comes into it, to be honest. 
So just get on with it and uh, give the decision. But uh, on on three, we're going to put up left hand for white, right hand for blue. One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, so Elsa and myself have got it. Whoa! We also don't have badges. <laughs> <laughs>